a student with interests outside of studying about to try and find ways to learn the most uh, information in the shortest amount of time possible. Uh, I've split this video up into categories based upon how much time you have left until your exam. Uh, the categories are the science behind learning, the last minute, the crammer, the academic weapon, the best environment to study in and getting a balance. So feel free to skip to whatever part you think applies to you. So the key concept behind learning new information is active recall. Uh, and this means forcing your brain to fetch information out of your subconscious into your conscious. Um, and this process causes your brain to create new neural pathways that puts information into the long-term memory. Um, when you learn something for the first time, you forget it very quickly. So you need to bring it back into your conscious um, just before you forget it. Every time you do this, it will take longer for your brain to forget the information. There are some apps that use this concept to space out flashcards so they only need to be reviewed when you are just about to forget the information. Uh, and the apps that I'd highly recommend are Remnote and Anki. Um, I will make a video on how to use Remnote uh, or how I use it for medicine in the future. If you've left it late, your goal is going to be getting as much information into your subconscious as possible. So in order to do this, you need to read a page of your notes or textbook and then write them out, uh, write out as much of it as you can from memory. Uh, spend your precious time reviewing information you find hard to learn because it's easy to fall into the trap of only reviewing what you find easy. If you find you need to learn a list of arbitrary information, for example, learning dates for like a history exam, uh, you should do a cover write check method. Uh, and for this, you basically just write out the information and reading it at the same time, I guess, cover it, write it from memory, and then check what you did wrong and then do the whole thing again. If you're struggling to remember something, uh, think of a funny or rude mnemonic for it, or try to rephrase it in a more memorable way. So for example, there's a drug I had to learn called efavirenz uh, that is used to stop HIV viruses from replicating. And I just remember it because it sounds like F a virus. So for the person who's left weeks until the exam date to revise, um, you should use past paper exams to find gaps in your knowledge. The key to doing this properly is making sure you do not only get do the test, but mark it and find out where you have the biggest gaps in your knowledge. For the areas where you have large gaps in your knowledge, use the methods I outlined in the last minute section to learn them. So for those of you who are planning ahead, uh, here's some tips for you. Don't waste your time copying out notes. This is a very time expensive process and does not guarantee results. Instead, you should try make flashcards using an app that use spaced repetition. I personally use Remnote, but I know people who've been very successful using Anki. Um, Quizlet is another option, but it doesn't use spaced repetition. Um, if at all possible, you should use flashcards that someone in the year above you made, as they will still be relevant, but then you can spend your time reviewing the flashcards every day rather than writing them yourself. The key is, as soon as you finish making the flashcards, you review the old ones too. This way, whilst you're learning new stuff, you don't forget the old stuff too. When it comes closer to your exam, you can use techniques I outlined in previous sections to maximise your results. So, for the best environment to study, it's more open to interpretation, but there are a couple of principles that I think are the same or true for everyone. So do not work with people who distract you or who are likely to feed you false information or arguably more importantly, feed you anxiety. Some people feel they work better alone, but if you find yourself getting distracted, I find having people watch me revise forces me to work harder. So find somewhere quiet that also has other people working, like a library. If you're going to work with friends, work with those who are po have a positive work ethic so you can focus on helping on each other out. So if you're getting a balance, I would say that staying in the same room for hours is conducive to boredom. Give yourself five minute rest breaks every 25 to 40 minutes. 
uh, do exercise. Doing exercise will clear your mind and maintain your health. Spend some time doing the things you enjoy as a reward for your hard work. Don't isolate yourself from others. In order to survive, you need support too. So uh, I realized that my last videos were getting a bit long. Um, and so I decided to do this one with a script. So let me know if you prefer that. Um, even though I've realized I've probably been looking down the entire time. Uh, and also, you know, if this has helped you out, then please leave a like, it would really help me out. And yeah, subscribe. Uh, and best of luck with your exams.